Hi all, welcome to another in a 10 minute nutshell. This is Peter Salray against Alexander Morozovich in the first round of the Lloyds Bet Masters of 1994. It was an epic performance by Morozovich. He scored 9.5 out of 10. So e4 from Peter Salray. We have the Korokan, knight d2. He took and he played down knight f6 with the idea of playing g takes f6. So this has been used by uh, this is the, called the Bronstein Larson variation. So David Bronstein and Ben Larson use this variation. It's very, very dynamic, very, very exciting. C3, Bishop F5, Knight D7, E6. Bishop's cutting across that diagonal. Knight B6, Bishop D6, challenging that bishop. Now Queen C7, preparing perhaps to castle queenside. In fact. After queen e2, yes, castles queen side, knight h4, bishop drops back, white castles. Now bishop takes g3 immediately. Apparently, technically more precise might be c5 here, waiting for this rook to move off uh, f1 and then take, just technically, maybe that's a slight technical improvement, as the engine suggests, but taking here. There's an automatic fret, of course. Capturing away from the center, you might think it's a bit strange, but there is a fret on the f pawn which needs to be dealt with. And the radical solution is actually to hem in the bishop. So that g6 bishop doesn't look entirely good. Uh, queen f2, king b8, rook a e1, and now c5 here, knight f3, a6, white takes on c5, knight d7 c6 that's taken knight d4 queen b6 bishop c2 king a8 and you can see that actually black hasn't really got a rampaging attack on the king side and in fact this may be a slight mistake from white b4 it gives this c3 target backward pawn on the c file you might think it's sort of attacking because the king's over here but perhaps white could just play just more conservative, conservatively with knight b3. Um, on the other hand, you might think, well, because he's captured away from the center, this is like a should go for an attack because these pawns don't look good. And um, black is slightly better here, actually, it seems, technically, even with that Hamden bishop. It's the other factors in the position. But it's, it's about equal, actually. It's about equal here, technically. But uh, we see after b4, this, this is a problem backward pawn. It's immediately victimized. Queen e3, queen c7, yes, just going for that backward pawn. b5, looks a little bit dangerous, but a5 keeps things closed. Yeah, now the rook can come to the center potentially. c4, giving up the c4 pawn, trying to just get some sort of attack maybe. But here, after bishop d3, this is on move 27, can you see a key move for black in this position? If I give you five seconds, starting from now. Okay, f4, yeah, hitting the queen and the bishop. We have bishop takes c4, f takes, bishop dropping back. Now rook hd8, yeah, this looks like a very good position now for black. That's emerged after knight b6. Although it's equal on pawns, the black rooks look really active down center here. a4 pushing the bishop back to a really passive place. Now the rook coming in to c1. Bishop e2. Now rook c2, this poor a pawn. If this a pawn drops, then this is a passed a pawn. Knight h4. Rook d d2. Yep, the a pawn's dropping. And it looks pretty grim now with this passed a pawn trump card. Yeah, it seems a lot of problems did actually stem from white playing b4, basically. Uh, rook e5, a3. This is a very, very dangerous uh, passed pawn, which is very difficult to stop now. It's just pushed. Knight d7 stops rook b7 for a moment. Knight c5 stops also rook a4 as well as protecting b7. Rook b1 is safe enough. This is not doing anything now. This check. Knight a6 secures the future of the a pawn queening. Yeah, that was Morozovic's uh, first round game. Pitsaro resigned there. Okay, not the most spectacular, but I think it's important to note 
that he's such a great attacking player but if the situation presents itself and he hasn't really got an attack he won't pursue that and he pursues like the weakest point in white's position which is the backward pawn so i think attacking players should make note of that you know if, if the backward pawn emerges and you can close up the lines against your own king then yeah why not it led to that winning a pawn uh so that's another way of uh winning the game you don't have to just go for a mad hack attack okay comments questions likes appreciated thanks very much